2019 is a year of mega projects. Park Clematis joined the series of mega projects launched alongside with Treasure at Tampines, Riverfront Residences, Florence Residences, Park Esta, Sterling Residences, Jetscape, Avenue South Residences, and Affinity at Serangoon. Many people ask 1,468 units in one project. Will that be overpopulation in Park Clematis? Hello, I'm the property strategist Stephen Chong. And today, I'm going to share my own review on Park Clematis. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe. Click the alert notification. That way, as we release more content like this, you will get notified. Park Clematis is a 99-year leasehold private condo launched in August 2019 by Sing Hai Yi. It is located at Jalan Lempeng, beside Regent Park and the Trilink. Here is the side gate access nearest to Clementi MRT station. The best thing is, it will be fully sheltered along the way to the MRT. In addition, Park Clematis is within 1km to popular primary school such as Nan Hua, Clementi, and Pei Tong. Although Park Clematis is a 1468 units mega launch, but you won't feel really dense in this development. The main reason is because having a land size of more than 600,000 square feet, which is nearly 2.5 size of the neighbor trialing or the size of 10 football fields. The concept is like when all Park Clematis residents gather at the ground floor, every single household will have 632 square feet free space. In this segment, Park Clematis is crowned among all the 9 mega projects. Park Clematis consists of 9 towers of 24 storey high rise plus strata houses. There are two vehicle entrance, one is at the main entrance for residents and visitors and another one is only for residents. So you don't have to worry for the access during the peak hours. The 9 towers come with 3 different building facade design, signature, elegance and contemporary. North-South oriented and they are all placed far apart to maximize your privacy. Just a brief for the facilities. They have one very huge main pool plus another 3 more 50 meter lap pool and 5 clubhouses. One thing I really like about this project is that the towers will be elevated up from the first story landscape level. Therefore, the units start from level 2 and it is like sitting on the level 6. This will allow bigger space for the landscape greeneries, more sunlight and airflow throughout the projects. First, to give you a better experience for comparison purpose, I flip and twist all the floor plan to the same orientation. Unit type covers the wide range from one bedroom to penthouse. All the standard one bedroom units were fully sold except the top floor units, which price the same as the OnePlus Study. For OnePlus Study, we have the type S1, S2, and S3. But S1 is fully sold. Both S2 and S3 are facing south direction, so it's expected there will be road noise coming from the AYE. They are having the similar layout of kitchen, dining, and living room, except the position of study room and bedroom is switched. Practical wise, I personally prefer S3 because the study room is separated away from the bathroom. You may turn the study room into your walk-in wardrobe as well. Whereas for S2, the study room is right beside the bathroom, so I don't see it as a very practical layout. For the two bedroom units, as of today, we do have seven types for your choice. All comes with open concept kitchen, 
For two bed one bath, we have type 1, 689 square feet. Come with two bedroom, one study area and one bathroom. Both stack 31 and 32 are side by side. Facing Regent Park, which is 9 storey height, if you wish to have pool view of Park Clematis, you may go for stack 40, 41, 55 and 56. For 2 bed 2 bath, type 2 and 5 are actually having the similar layout, 721 square feet. We have stack 59 and 60, face south, stack 22 and 23, face north, stack 14 and 15, face towards Faber Hills landed. Type 3 and 4 are also similar layout, 710 square feet. We have 3 stack for this, all with pool facing. The difference between them is one has the longer kitchen but shorter living room and vice versa. For the 2 bed 2 bath plus study, we have type S 743 square feet. We have stack 64, face north towards Faber Hill landed house. We also have stack 19 with pool view. This layout has a study corner. It can be used as your guest room or storeroom as well. We also have two bedroom dual key. This is very suitable for investment purpose. You can rent it to two different groups of tenants sharing the same entrance but having their own kitchens and bathrooms. This dual key layout will give better rental income than the standard two bedroom. All together, we have 10 types of 3-bedroom. All 3-bedroom units come with the enclosed kitchen with gas stove. All the kitchen and bathrooms come with window. Let's start with the smallest 3-bedroom type. Stack 30 is a 883 square feet, simple 3-bedroom without yard and storeroom. If you don't want to have a balcony, you can have stack 33. It is the cheapest 3-bedroom available. Both stacks are facing Regent Park. They are exactly the same layout except one has no balcony. Next, we have Type 2 and 3. The layout is also the same except the entrance. We have 5 stacks for both types and they are south facing. We do have another Type 5, 904 square feet, left with the last unit, face towards the Faber Hills landed. For all the three bedroom type that I mentioned above, the bedroom one and two can fit in the king and queen size bed respectively. However, the bedroom three only can fit in a single bed. For the 915 square feet three bedroom type four and six, all the bedrooms are in proper size, meaning all the common rooms can fit in at least a queen size bed. We left the last unit facing pool view and the other two stacks facing the south. All the three bedroom premium types come with the wide frontage of living and dining. We have a long balcony alongside with the living and dining. I love this kind of layout. It looks more spacious and brighter. And it is rare in today's new launch market. There is a yard and storeroom behind the kitchen. Their only difference is the size of bedroom tree. For P1, we have 4 stacks for your choice, all with pool view, whereas for P2, we have 2 stacks, all are facing the north. Stack 62 will enjoy the unblocked landed view. Next, we have the biggest 3 bedroom. It comes with private lift, wide frontage of living and dining, but the balcony is positioned on the sideway. The key highlight here is master bedroom comes with the walk-in wardrobe and master bathroom comes with a bathtub. There are two stacks for this layout, only four units per floor. We have two types of three bedroom dual key. You can stay in the two bedroom and rent out the studio at the same time. You and your tenant can still enjoy own privacy. Furthermore, this can help to cover your mortgage interest. The main difference for these two types is that DK2 Studio 
has a full function kitchen, but DK1 Studio only has an under counter fridge. Dual key layout is very rare in today's market. For your information, I found a similar layout only in Whistler Grand. All the four bedrooms come with the wide frontage of living and dining, long balcony alongside with the living and dining, dry and wet kitchen, bar counter with wine chiller. The main difference between these two types is the position of the fourth bedroom. I would prefer the type 1 because all the bedrooms face towards the pool view. The 4 bedroom P1 layout is almost similar to the type 2 just now. The main difference is the size of the bedroom and the position of the storeroom and WC. We have four stacks for this P1 type. Both P2 and P3 are pretty similar layout. Comes with private lift. The balcony is along the sideway. They have walk-in wardrobe and bathroom in the master. Plus, there is an ensuite. You can have either Faber Hughes lander facing or Strata bungalow facing. For five bedroom, we have three types. First two types are having the similar layout with the wide living and dining alongside with the long balcony. You have two ensuite and all the bedrooms can at least fit in a queen size bed. Comes with a dry and wet kitchen. The only difference between these two types is that type one has a longer entrance walkway. They are all situated at block eight. So you have the choice of either pool view or landed view. Now, if you prefer to have a private lift, you can choose the premium type. It also comes with a walk-in wardrobe and a bathtub in the master. We have three stacks for the five bedroom premium. All three are south facing. Many other projects don't build penthouse anymore, or they built in duplex. If you are looking for a single floor plat penthouse, Park Clematis will be very suitable for you. We have a handful of units here for your choice. All penthouse come with a five bedroom, bigger dry and wet kitchen, and with high ceiling for living and dining room. Finally, we come to the masterpiece of Park Clematis, the strata houses. We have 6 bungalows and 12 terraces. Every single unit has a beautiful pool view. I'm not going into detail for the strata house here. I will consider to do another video to cover these new strata houses in Singapore if the response is good.
something new within walking distance to the MRT in the West that is none other than Park Clematis. Since the HSR has been delayed for two years, I think it gives good opportunity window period to own something near to the second CBD before the development progress further. Recently, the rental at Trilink is going for 2003 for the one bedroom, 2008 for the two bedroom, and 3003 for the three bedroom. After the completion of second CBD, the rental and price at Park Clematis will escalate higher. And that will be the best exit strategy for you. Currently, Park Clematis is selling at the average price of 1,600 PSF. The price tag is pretty similar to the transacted price at Trilink. I always like to mention, if you find the new launch condo priced the same as the resale condo nearby, just go for it. Units are selling fast every day. When you watch this video, some units may not be available. So if you are keen on this project, you may contact me for further discussion. If you want to learn how to choose a good unit, you can watch my other video on that topic. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Bye.